What's up guys, I'm Mason Zolman, I'm your State Tech Student Body President. And I'm Cheyenne, your State Tech Student Body Treasurer. And this is going to be the first episode of... What is it? We, we, don't, don't, we don't have a title for it yet, but we will have one eventually. Or you guys could send in suggestions for a name. Yep. So February was a big month for State Tech. We had the Career Expo on the 8th. There was over 300 employers that came out to meet with students and look for, so they could look for future jobs. Also in February, Black Hist it's Black History Month, so we are celebrating by having a bunch of different movies. We have some still coming up, but we also had two that sh aired previously in the month. So if you haven't, go check the rest of them out. Thanks. Thank you, Cheyenne, for telling us what has already happened. Now let's take a look at what is about to happen. On the 21st, State Tech is hosting a Polar Plunge. This event will take place on the quad, and we'll have a dunk tank where you can donate money to drop someone in freezing cold water. Should be fun. I might be the one in the tank. Not really sure. Might be Strong or Bowser if we can convince them. But uh, Now one of the more exciting events State Tech will host is uh, skating, ice skating on the 24th. Tech is bringing in a portable ice skating rink that will take place out by the OCCC. This is again a token event as well, and make sure you bring your friends. That is everything that we have planned for the month of February. Be sure to tune into the next month's episode where we'll talk about everything that's happening in the month of March. Now it's time for the State Tech Staff Spotlight. And for our first ever Staff Spotlight, we welcome L'Oreal with the State Tech Campus Dining. Hi, Mason. How are you? Good. How are you doing Pretty today? Pretty good. Uh, so, what is your favorite part of your job? Seeing the students come in. That is the absolute best part of my entire day, welcoming them in, seeing how their day's going, you know, asking them how things are going, what's going on in their classes. Nice, nice. Yeah. How do you, so we all know that you know every single student on campus. Pretty how much. do you remember their names? Well, you think I see them for breakfast and I see them for lunch, and then sometimes I have to do a mnemonic device meaning okay they are tall maybe they have an l in their name maybe they have a y in their name that's how i remember their name because they're okay. tall well what's my mnemonic device um nothing because you're just mason i just, just know you just you, you just remember I just me it up <laughs> nice love that picked it up so what's your favorite color purple i love purple that's awesome because I love purple too oh yay yeah some yay will say it's us. a girl color but whatever no i mean it's a general color yeah, but it's okay to like purple yeah so you work for a school which means you have all summer off yes what, what what do you like to do over the summers well I don't really like to do much because I'm tired of working for nine months but I did recently get fortunate enough to get a pool so I plan on spending all summer long in my pool I'm going to Virginia this summer to spend a week with my cousin and his family so I'm very excited about that that's what's up I like to hang out with my mom in the summer and definitely my daughter she's like my everything so have you always been able to like connect with people at such a personal yeah, level I am I'm such a people person I've always been a people person I like people I mean people can be mean but I always try to give them a smile because you think what what's going on in their life maybe they just need that smile maybe they need a hug and i always want the students here to know that if they're having a bad day come into the kitchen see me say you know i'm having a bad day could i just get a hug and yeah. i will hug them it honestly it makes all the difference in the world and i th think when the students come in and i'm like oh hey hi mason how are you just knowing their name and putting a smile on my face makes a huge difference. It really does always make my day when I see oh, you. Oh, thank you, Mason. Yeah, I appreciate sure. that. Well, our staff spotlight, L'Oreal. So as you guys just saw, we had our first employee spotlight. If you guys have any suggestions for a future employee or maybe a student that you want recognized, uh, email Cameron Carter. His email will be displayed on the screen somewhere, maybe right here. <laughs> We also need name suggestions for our show, so if you have any ideas, send them his way as well. Also, thank you for bearing with us in this first episode. Hopefully they'll get a lot better as time goes on.